discussing the summary for chapter 3 scalar and vectors component of a vector how to add and subtract vectors the unit vectors relative motion now let me explain what is happening here So in this video we'll be discussing the summary for chapter 3 and uh, after this video we'll be taking the questions from the book James S. Walker for this chapter 3. And these are the topics that we discussed in chapter 3. I'll be taking all these topics one by one but before that uh, let me take one question based on the relative motion that we studied just in the previous video. So this is the question based on relative motion and here we are given that you ride in a boat whose speed relative to water is 6.1 meter per second so this is the speed uh, of boat relative to water this is 6.1 meter per second now next it says that the boat points at an angle of 25 degrees upstream on a river flowing at 1.4 meter per second this speed would be the speed of water relative to ground so this is speed of water relative to ground. This is what we are given to be 1.4 meter per second. Now there are two parts in the equation that we need to solve. In the A part we need to find the velocity of the boat relative to the ground. Okay. So first of all the I am taking that the water is flowing downstream like this. This is the speed of uh, water relative to ground in this direction. Now I will be making the coordinate system. This is a coordinate system. And this is positive x. I have taken the x direction perpendicular to the river. And this is the positive y direction which is along the upstream. Okay. Now uh, it says that the boat points at an angle 25 degrees upstream on a river. So the boat is flowing like this. So this would be the direction for this uh, velocity of boat. With respect to water. And this angle is given to be 25 degrees. Now next the velocity of water with respect to ground is in the downward direction like this. This is the velocity of water relative to ground. Now what we have to find the, the velocity of the boat relative to ground. So this, this vector will show the velocity of boat relative to ground. So this is what we have to find in the A part. Now, uh, the speed of water relative to ground is 1.4 meter per second. So, what would be the velocity? Velocity will be, we have to multiply it to the unit vector to convert into velocity. So, this is 1.4 meter per second and it's along the negative y direction. So, minus y cap. So, this would be the velocity of water relative to ground. Now, the uh, speed, the sorry, the velocity for the boat relative to water this would be this is making an angle of 25 degrees so its x component would be 6.1 cosine 25 and this is positive x direction so x cap now the y component would be plus 6.1 sine 25 degrees and y cap now it's pretty simple we know that the velocity of boat relative to ground will be the vector sum of these two vectors that is velocity of boat relative to water plus velocity of uh, water relative to ground now we have all the values we can plug it here so this is 6.1 cosine 25 degree x cap plus 6.1 sine 25 degree y cap then plus v wg this is minus 1.4 meter per second y cap now we can add the y components 6.1 cosine 25 this would become 5.5 uh, so 5.5 meter per second x cap plus 6.1 sine 25 this would become uh, 2.6 meter per second y cap minus this is 1.4 meter per second y cap I just uh, missed out meter per second here. Uh, you can understand that thing. 
Now this would be equals to 5.5 .5 meter per second x cap as it is and this would become 1.2 meter per second y cap. So this would be the velocity of boat relative to ground. So this would be the answer for the A part. Now next uh, we are going to solve the B part where we need to find now here what we are what they are saying is that uh, the speed of the boat relative to water remains the same that means this thing remains the same but the direction in which it point is changed so this direction theta is changed what angle is required for the boat to go straight across the river that is for the boat to move perpendicular to the shore of the river now let me explain what is happening here this speed remains the same but this angle theta is changed and then we have to find this angle theta such that the boat should go straight across the river so initially the water was flowing like this this would this was the velocity of water relative to ground and now the velocity for boat relative to ground should be perpendicular to this velocity this should be 90 degree and this is what the velocity of boat relative to the water and the speed remains the same that means its magnitude is same 6.1 meter per second and here also the, the magnitude is same that is 1.4 meter per second now we have to find this angle theta so uh, we can use uh, trigonometric equations here to find this angle theta so I'm just copying it first and I'm pasting it here so uh, we know that sine theta is perpendicular over hypotenuse so perpendicular we have a VWG which is uh, 1.4 this is the speed so 1.4 divided by the hypotenuse is 6.1 so this would be sine theta and from here theta comes out to be as uh, sine inverse 1.4 over 6.1 which is nearly equals to 13 degree so uh, the boat should move at an angle of 13 degree such that uh, the speed of boat relative to the ground will be, will be perpendicular to the river so this would be the answer for this uh, b part now let's get back to the summary so the first topic that we discussed was scalar and vectors so scalar is a number with appropriate units suppose volume is 5 meter cube volume of a container is 5 meter cube so this is a scalar now vector is a quantity a physical quantity that has both magnitude and direction for example displacement for example uh, velocity these all are scale the vector quantity and then we discuss the component of a vector so the x component rx we have r cosine theta and the y component ry we have r sine theta and the magnitude of a vector r is given by under root r x square plus r y square and this angle theta is obtained by the formula tangent inverse r y over r x so this is what we studied in the component of a vector now then we discussed how to add and subtract vectors and we discussed two uh, methods the first one is the graphical method and the component method and in the component method we discussed that if the vector c is the sum of vector a plus vector b then the x component of c vector will be ax plus bx similarly the uh, y component of c vector would be a y plus b y and suppose we need to subtract vector plus sign would become negative and here also this is negative and here also this is negative and after that we discuss the unit vectors so this is the x cap and y cap are the two unit vectors and x cap uh, is the unit vector which is dimensionless vector of unit length in the positive x direction similarly uh, y cap is the unit vector which is dimensionless vector of unit length in the positive y direction and then we discuss this topic position displacement velocity and acceleration vectors so position vector is a vector that points from the origin to the particles location so this 
uh, vector would will represents the position vector then the displacement vector delta r it shows the change in position which is r f minus r i and then we discuss this velocity vector so velocity vector points in the direction of motion and has a magnitude equal to the speed so this would show the uh, velocity vector and this example we have already taken in the in the in those videos now then uh, this acceleration vector so the acceleration vector indicates how quickly and in what direction the velocity is changing so this would show the acceleration vector and if you haven't seen this example just go to the my uh, previous videos you will see this example there and this was the last topic that we discussed relative motion and here we have discussed that the velocity of object 1 relative to 3 is equals to velocity of object 1 relative to object 2 plus velocity of object 2 relative to object 3 and this 2 can be any object and one more thing we discuss the velocity of 1 relative to 2 is negative of velocity of 2 relative to 1 so with this all the concepts of chapter 3 is over and now in the next video we'll discuss the questions that are given in the book james's walker <laughs>